Hey guys, Tin Man. Seems like I picked a bit of a busy intersection in this way out of town place. Way out of town town. Um, I have something very interesting to show you here. You know how I'm on the tracking of the forest beings that are in part known by the Bigfoot. And then I talk about rock fracking and breaking and such. Well, I'm sitting in a little community parking lot here. I don't even know if it gets used very much. You kind of look at it, it looks like it probably hardly ever gets used because it really is in the rural community of a small town city. Anyways, look what we got there. Uh, we got a couple of broken off rocks. We got a lot of rocks to just show the signs from this distance. They show the signs. This, this one right here shows the signs. It shows it good enough where we can kind of see broken lines. There might be in this region right there, you might be able to see where it's like here it looks. You can't call it necessarily a scribe, but in here you might be able to see how it's actually scribing in there. And then we get to see other layers of it even being broken at as we speak. And I can feel that crumble almost a little bit under my finger or move anyways. So yeah, you can see it fresh on the top there, maybe better from this side. Broken chips out different degrees, you know. Yeah, there's a reason why they do it. I have a couple of uh, speculative reasons. And one of the reasons, one of the things that I see in that is it's almost like they just are doing it down to earth because you can actually find where these in some cases small aggregate like this they toy with. So, and then right there, somebody might look at that and say, well, can, you can see where it's maybe being banged at or something, but can you? I'm going to come on another angle here and see if there's a, if they're, in this case, using a rock or something to help tap. Like those two rocks sitting over there could be actually the tapping tools. I've seen it before, and it would kind of make sense. Then somebody could say, well, I can see where somebody's chucking those at there. Yeah, you could say that, but then once you start looking at the amount of damage and scoring on the rock and breaking pieces and so on and so forth, then you start to realize, no, that's beyond some kid walking by throwing a few rocks at it and running away or whatever, doing it late at night because they like the sparks. And if there was a guy that was really just intuitive in this neighborhood, there might be somebody that recognizes the, the size. Maybe a fair amount of them are closer to this size. And a bit being broken apart. And you can see this one being worked. Almost looks like there's a chance that it might have had a section in here. Because it's just because of how this stone coloring is coming here. You know, it was broken pretty good then at the at the yard where it came from. And this almost looks like it could be scratch chipping light fragments. It could be it could have been thicker like this. Uh, look, that's a vein. That's an actual good viewing. Is how I would see it as a vein of something that was in between um, different parts of rocks different uh, types of stone. Here's a piece that was most likely broken off. A piece that was most likely broken off. Well, look at right here. You never know. You really... Well, we could figure it out, but... Especially if we lift it up, because there's no way that they would have been just sending this beauty out. Like, this is a cool stone, for starters. So this is one of the ones that has been broken. And they had a very successful slabbing off of one of those. That was amazing. 
as Jesse would say. That's amazing. Are you serious? Well, that's amazing. Alrighty, be so. Another piece being broken off right there. So these guys here, because there's not a looky loo like me. Now you'll start to. They'll start to probably witness how much I'm into it, and they might start leaving. They might just do finishes where they actually take the piece off and lay it there or whatever. But they might limit how many crowds you get to see of actually work. That's not a for sure with the rock, but I see it in some of their uh, different statements of work where I think they can change their culture of work for the secretness of the society. Um, more so. But in so many of the cases, though I say that, I say it on one hand that way, and I can say it on this way too. I also see that they're kind of made in a degree of we don't care mode or they think they're well we're in so much crack mode where it's everywhere we don't care anymore in the parks or anything it's crack mode everywhere guys so rethinking this a little bit out there I'm going with the second one here it's kind of a little bit of uh, we don't care that's amazing man there's another one right there Like, that's work, to be going a rock stonemason guy who does, um, breaking down a rock. And they'll show you how, how hard they, they do the work. These guys just get the crack marks going differently, and have a different way of structurally breaking it off, I guess, maybe. We'll figure it out, won't we? Look at that fine crack going on right there. That one's ready to probably just be broken right down, I don't know. Oh yeah, see those other ones going off that way? Be soaked in, man. 